Wonderful. Thank you so much, Doc Steve, for joining me this evening or for you afternoon um, uh, for the Frequency Podcast. It is an honor for you to be joining us, uh, me particularly, and uh, those of you that are watching at home. Um, it is my great honor to introduce Doc Steve to you. Um, Doc, welcome. Well, thank you. It's <laughs> an honor to be on today. Yeah, so thank you so much. Um, there's so many questions, and I know that lots of um, community members are are watching. Would you, you know, start off a little bit? Um, we have so much to share this evening, but I'm sure lots of us would love to hear a little bit about your story um, regarding frequencies, energy medicine, a little bit of, you know, how you came to Healy, and um, and then we'll kind of move on from there. Absolutely, well, I'd love to. So I started out uh, on June 1st, will be 45 years that mm -hmm. I began my practice uh, initially in functional medicine. Mm -hmm. And um, I was always ha uh, pretty much in, had a cutting edge practice, meaning as they always said, I was about 10 years ahead of the pack. I was into prevention back then when nobody used the word prevention. Uh, I, I did a lot of work with uh, nutritional medicine um, and it was great uh, because my focus had always been on what I call biochemical individuality, which mm. means you don't treat the disease, you treat the underlying cause of disease. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is, is really simple because when you think about it, most Western uh, docs which pra who practice use pharmaceutical medicine. And basically what I believe they do is they just create what I call chronic patients. And the reason I say that is because, say, for example, uh, you go to your family doctor or internist and you have uh, elevated cholesterol levels. Well, the first thing he'll say to you is, uh, we're going to put you on a statin medication um, to lower your cholesterol levels because they're dangerously high. And that's basically all he says. And he also says, usually, you'll be on that medication for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Gives no other information, offers no other device. Uh, advice about what a person can do on their own uh, to make any kind of changes. So you basically are giving your power away uh, to your physician to let him make all the decisions. Um, and as we know, pharmaceutical meds all have side effects. And what I do is I work with a patient to find out what the underlying cause of the problem is, and then I work on that level. So instead of creating a chronic patient, I, in a very short period of, of, of time, I'm able to reverse the condition. And when the person you know, gets to be well, they're no longer tagged with that condition. I mean, the same thing with, for example, type two diabetes, which is rampant in the United States right now. Uh, it's really one of the biggest diseases out there because of people's eating habits. Yeah. Again, a person will go to a traditional physician and they'll say, well, we have a medication called metformin. Uh, it lowers sugar levels in the body. Uh, before you become a type 2 diabetic, which is what most people are now becoming in the U.S. due to overweight and uh, other factors, um, you'll be on this medication for the rest of your life. I'm basically the guy when patients come into my office, they bring their medications with them and I literally throw them in the garbage and say, well, wouldn't you like to be able to reverse your situation and your conditions without having to rely on pharmaceutical medication? And obviously, people always say, yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm here to do that. Mm -hmm. And so when I work with people, um, I, I do an extensive, uh, first of all, scan of them. I have a device that I have used for the past 20 plus years in my practice. It's similar to the time waiver. I'm also mm -hmm. a time waiver practitioner, but this is pre-time waiver. Right. So uh, I kind of jumped a little ahead of myself here because I wanted to say that I was doing functional medicine up until the 1990s. Um, it was great. I would make custom programs for my patients to tell them specifically the foods they shouldn't be eating, the supplements they should be taking. And, you know, you can easily reverse a condition uh, if you know uh, how to work with the body naturally. For example, you know, say the example that I used uh, just now of a patient with high cholesterol and needing to be on a statin drug. Well, I think most people are totally unaware that when the study was first carried out, back in the 80s when they were testing statin drugs, they used another substance against it as a sort of a control. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was niacin. And interestingly enough, they cut the study 
before it was completed because they found out that patients that were taking niacin actually got better results in terms of lowering their cholesterol than patients that were actually, take, actually taking statin drugs. So it goes to show you that, you know, our medicine these days is controlled by what I call big pharma. It's controlled by, uh, you know, money, unfortunately. Right. And unless that really the consciousness begins to change, um, then that's the way, unfortunately, medicine will continue to be practiced. And what is so great about the Healy is that um, my whole philosophy is self-care is the new health care. And what I'm trying to do uh, with uh, sharing all as much as I can about Healy is allowing people to, to, like I said earlier, take control of their own health back into their own hands and not have to rely on their medical doctors uh, and other physicians to treat them. Um, so back in the 90s, um, I've always had a very solid spiritual practice. I've worked with a spiritual teacher since the 1970s. Um, and he's always guided me in terms of certain big decisions in my life. Uh, when I've gone to him and specifically asked questions about what I should be doing or where I should be going. And he's always guided me and he's always been absolutely 100% right on. And so one day uh, back in the late 90s, he called me into his office and he said, you know, I have some information to, to give you. And I said, okay. And he said, the work you're doing currently right now in functional medicine is completely going to change. You're yeah. going to move into a whole other area of health care. And he says, I'm going to name what I think it's called quantum energetic medicine. I had no idea what he was talking about at that moment in time. Um, and he said to me, there's going to be a device that comes along that you're going to get involved in and use. And it's really going to not only change the way you practice, it's going to open up a whole other arena, but you're going to be somebody on the forefront of this field. And you're going to be teaching and helping, you know, hundreds and thousands of people out there. And I said, okay, so I'm open. Uh, you've never led me wrong. What is this device you're talking about? And he said to me, well, you know, I can't see the name of it, but you'll know it when you see it. And I said, sounds good. So six months passed. This was in uh, 1998. Mm -hmm. um, and I was on a television talk show one day. Uh, we were talking about uh, anti-aging medicine, which is something that I actually moved into after uh, it was sort of a progression for me from functional medicine into anti-aging medicine. And after the show, the host of the show came up to me and she said, you know, you're, 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 you're a really cutting edge guy. I wanted to tell you something. I met this doctor here in Los Angeles, this Korean doctor, and he uses this device that allows you to you know, find out everything about a person uh, and using frequencies. As soon as she said that, I said to her, I need the name and the number right away. Because immediately, even though it was six months ago, I knew that when my teacher said to me, you're going to know when you come across it. And so I went to see this guy and I went to his office and saw these big, you know, computerized devices and what it did. And I right away, I knew that this is what he had been talking about. So I called the company up. I asked them if they were willing to fly out to the Los Angeles area and to demo this uh, on me, on my patients, because I'm the type of guy that really has always been a researcher at heart. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was one of those science nerds you hear about that in uh, 11th grade, I won a National Science Foundation scholarship and they sent me to work at graduate level research at Indiana University um, in Bloomington, Indiana. And I hadn't even finished high school and here I was doing research in a laboratory with graduate students. So to me, research was always the most important thing. And so I have to prove, I said to them, that this actually works. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take three patients that have very unusual health conditions. I'm gonna allow you to scan these patients. You can't ask them any questions whatsoever. And at the end of this, you have to tell me exactly what's going on with these patients. And of course, I picked three patients that were really not the run of the mill, but people that had very peculiar type of health history. And of course, what happened is they ran the scans and they were right on. Uh, and I was like, oh my God, um, you know, this is amazing. Why do I have to run all these extensive laboratory and blood tests on my patients that cost thousands and thousands of dollars if there was an actual way to be able to assess them real time without doing lab tests and getting the same results I was getting with lab work. And so I immediately purchased it. Uh, it was a European device and it came, and I remember the day it came, I called my, uh, my spiritual teacher up, and I said, 
remember that you told me six months ago that there would be this thing that I would, well, it arrived. And his first response to me was, I want you to bring it over right now. I want to see it. And so I did. And I hooked him up and he looked at me and said, this is exactly what I saw. You got it. You found it. Um, and so it moved me from the practice of functional and any aging medicine into a whole level of, uh, you know, quantum energetic frequency medicine, which I had been practicing for the last 20 plus years in my practice here in LA. And it literally changed everything I did because it allowed me to look into the body from so many different areas and aspects that I couldn't with a blood test. How do you assess a person's you know, mental, emotional status, or even spiritual status with a blood test, you can't. Right. Uh, but this tool allowed me, this device allowed me to go in and know everything about the patient on every one of those levels. And it was never wrong. That was the thing that always blew my mind because I would see patients sometimes that had some of the rarest genetic conditions and I'd scan them and the condition would come right up on the screen on my computer. And it was like, oh my God, this is amazing. This person has, he's like a hundred people in the US that has this condition. And yet the name of, the, of his condition was right on there on the screen. So um, to this day, I still utilize that device in my practice uh, as one of my main diagnostics because it is so good. Well, you know, over the years um, I got to thinking and I said, wouldn't it be great if there was some form of a portable type of device that does something similar to what I do in my office because of the fact that my whole you know, philosophy is that healing is a process, it's not an event. Mm -hmm. It's not something that just happens in one meeting or one interaction or one intervention, but it's basically something that occurs on a daily basis. A person has to do something with their body and work on their health on a regular or daily basis if they really wanna get into a state of balance. Mm -hmm. So I talked to the people that, that had, uh, you know, the, the company that was, um, uh, that from the device I had, which was developed actually by, by some of the researchers that originally worked on the, on the Apollo space project and NASA had back that information and research. And I said to them, this is what I'm looking for. And they said, you know, we're working on it right now. And I said, fantastic, because I think it's really, really needed uh, to be able to, to really put it out there. And so for about, I guess it was at least four or five years, every six months I would call them up and I said, well, how are you doing on this, on this portable project? And every time I would call and they would say to me, oh, we're working on it, we're working on it. But it didn't seem to ever come to being. And finally, I got frustrated back in 2019. And I said to them, you know, honestly, is this going to happen or not? I just need to know. And he was truthful with me and said, you know, we've tried, it's really, really expensive. We don't have the money to put into it and it's really complicated. So we're gonna, we're basically dropping the project uh, at this point in time. And I said to him, well, that's great news. And he was kind of like puzzled on the other end of the phone call, I could tell. And he said, what do you mean? I said, well, it's great news for me because in my life, when one door closes, another door almost immediately opens. And so now that I know that's not happening, I can put my focus and energy other places. And so that night, I remember I, I do a lot of manifestation meditation. I've been doing it for, say, the past 30 years or so. I'm really good at it. And I went into my meditation and I closed my eyes and put out the intention to the universe of exactly what I was looking for in a device. I mean, I described it to a T. Uh, of exactly the types of scans I was looking for, the types of things that it did. Um, I even said that it was made in Germany. Um, I even said that nobody in the US had it yet. I mean, I put all of these things out because the one thing about okay. manifestation, if you really want to manifest in your life, the best way to do it is to be as specific as you can be in terms of literally writing down what it is you want, because it's already in most cases, the things you want are already out there in the universe. And when you actually have that intention uh, and focus on those specifics, it's sort of that quantum entanglement process and that you then become hooked up with that thing that you're looking for. So I, I went through all those things and um, seven days later, it was exactly seven days later, I remember it to a T. I was on the internet one night doing some, you know, just research late night that I do. And uh, all of a sudden a page popped up in German I don't speak German. And I was like, oh, that's weird. So I ran it through Google Translate. And it was this page of this person that was explaining this new device. And it was like, oh my God, could this be exactly what I have been 
putting out in my meditation over the last week. Um, so I searched him on the internet because there was really no information there about how to make a contact. Saw his name, wrote him a long letter that night describing who I was, what my intention was. And the next day we had a two and a half hour conversation. This was back in, I guess it was early October of 2019. And this is Marcus. No, this wasn't no. Marcus. This is, this is CJ. Okay. Peters, okay. 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 Peters, okay. And many people know yep. who lives in uh, in the Netherlands. Right. Um, and he said wow. to me, you know what, Steve? He said, this is a, this is amazing that you called, uh, to, uh, wrote to me, and we have this call because we're getting ready to introduce uh, this device into the United States. And based on your background and your experience and everything you do and who you are, you're like the perfect person to help us bring this forward in the US. And I said, okay, but I have one caveat, which is that I need to try it out first. There's that experimenter part of me that goes into play because I can tell you, I have a closet full of frequency devices in my office. You couldn't believe it because so many companies send me stuff and have been sending me stuff for the last 20 years because they know who I am and I know my reputation in the field and they want me to you know, back it or to say good stuff about it. And I would have to tell you that 85% of all the things that I get that I try out, they really, you know, when it comes down to it, they really don't do what they say it's supposed to do. And I'll explain why in a moment. Um, so I said, you got to send me one first and I have to try it out. Uh, and if it actually works, then I'm totally open and willing and ready to support this thing to the max. Because for me, like I said with my patients, I'd like to be able to have something I can give to them that they can continue the work that I'm doing in my office. And he said, great. So I got it. And, um, and so I'm my best guinea pig. Whenever I want to, whenever I get something new or I have a certain protocol or something shows up, I always like to try it on myself first because I know my body inside and out. Uh, and I'm my best test tester. So uh, back in the early 90s here in Los Angeles, I was involved in a near fatal car accident. I literally almost died in a car accident. I was hit I was in my sports car. I was hit uh, driver's side by a, tr a huge truck uh, coming down the street. And if it wasn't for the fact that I was in a very, very busy street, commercial street, um, and very close to the nearest hospital, I might not be here right now. But um, but it left me with uh, some injuries that were lasting for over 20 years. Uh, I was able to, with my technology and the help of friends, acupuncturists and chiropractors and other people, bring it under a sense of control, but it never ever actually went away. And then the problem started to get worse over time in that I was having uh, proprioception issues with my right foot, which meant it was really difficult for me to go from the brake to the gas in my car. It's almost like I lost orientation in my brain of where my foot was it wasn't that normal process of immediately without thinking going from you know gas break gas break um, and there were a couple of incidences four four times actually where uh twice once at a stop sign once at a red light uh once into a brick wall and the the fourth one which was the scariest of all is that i was in a parking garage and i was on the third level and i was getting ready to leave uh you know to go down and I, my car went right to the edge of literally to the edge of the garage down, you know, three stories up. I couldn't stop my car. I couldn't get my foot to go to the break. It's just one of those things where I lost that connection. And I was like, after that experience, uh, I was like, no way. I almost died once in a car accident. I don't want it to happen to me twice. And so I wound up basically, you know, taking things like Ubers and Lyfts. Um, and so I figured that, let me set an intention for this to see if it actually works. Because everything is about an intention. Right. And one of the most important things I tell people that have a Healy is that one of the first and most important things you need to do when you do a Healy session is to really be sure you create a positive intention of what it is you're trying to achieve in the session. And it has to be in the present tense, it has to be positive, and it should never include the name of the condition that you're dealing with, because that only reinforces in your brain that problem. So if you have a headache, for example, you're not gonna say, I want the headache to go away, because then all your brain hears is the word headache. Right. But you may say, I wanna have my thoughts cleared and my mind you know, in balance. Uh, I said, I want to be able to drive my car again, you know, and not have to experience you know, the neuropathy and things that were going on in my leg. And so uh, when it arrived, I looked it over, I saw the programs intuitively, 
I picked up that I would be running the uh, nerve and nerve meridian program because that neuropathy and that proprioception is neurological. I ran it for four nights while I was watching TV. And then on the fifth day, a miracle happened. I woke up and I knew immediately that things had changed. Because the first thing that would happen when I woke up in the morning is I saw, I felt my foot. And I couldn't, you know, going from my bed uh, with a carpeted floor into the bathroom, which was a tiled floor, and then there was a wooden floor and stuff. If anyone you know, neuropathy is a very common issue that's the result of inflammation from many, many different types of diseases. Uh, it's like walking over a bed of nails. It's really that uncomfortable. And so I was on the tile floor and then I went to the shower, which I usually go in and out of in minutes. And it was like, whoa, this is really cool. I don't have any pain in my feet. This is amazing. And so I said, you know, let's put it to the ultimate test. I called a friend up and said, let's go to brunch. Uh, and uh, under one condition, you allow me to drive the car, but you're next to me in the car. So if I have an issue where I feel that I can't hit the brake, you're right there. I'll move the car over and then we can go there. And he said, okay. Um, went to, to brunch, drove back, no problems. And uh, I knew that day that, that the Healy was what I was gonna dedicate from then on in terms of uh, my life's work to promote and to bring this device forward to as many people as I could because of the results it gave me. Uh, and of course, as we all know, there's thousands and thousands of people, you know, hundreds of thousands of people that use the Healy and there's you know, so many testimonials uh, positive testimonials of using the Healy for almost, you know, every condition. Um, and so that's how I got involved in Healy almost three years ago. Um, and then I said to myself, so what's the next step for me? And knowing that the time waiver was the father of the Healy, I said to myself, well, you know, mm -hmm. I think that's my next step. So, uh, I called up and I, um, uh, went to Germany, uh, actually it wasn't me, but a friend of mine was, was traveling in Germany and they uh, got a time waiver uh, brought back to me and uh, jumped into it. And for me, it was easy because I had been working with professional frequency devices. And so uh, now I'm also a time waiver practitioner, which allows me to make uh, very custom programs for people with any specific health related condition. And the thing about the time waiver is that it's really dependent upon, I have found at least, or the feedback I've gotten from people that have had custom programs made, it's really dependent upon the practitioner in terms of how good the programs are, because uh, I look at myself almost like a frequency alchemist in that I'm able to you know, create this program for the patient. But I do it a little differently, I think, than a lot of other time waiver practitioners, because of my background of 45 years in medicine, I know the underlying cause of most disease. And so when I create a custom uh, Healy program, I'm really integrating into it what the underlying causes are, because there's a way in the time waiver to just, you know, send a specific frequency for a specific condition. And that's like, you know, it's like a one size fits all kind of a situation. Whereas I look to the underlying cause and I always incorporate that in all the custom programs that I make. And so far, uh, you know, I've been blessed to have the fact that people have given me uh, some really amazing feedback from the programs that I've made. And then a lady by the name of Taryn Lee Harrington that most of us know, said to me one day, we were on, I was on the USA uh, Roadshow, and she said, do you think you could make a program for me, uh, <laughs> a, 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 a goddess program? <laughs> and I thought for a moment and said, I got this program, I got this program. I said, well, I'm open to it. Um, so let me see what I can do. And so I spent some time uh, exploring a lot of the esoteric texts out there to see all sorts of information that wasn't readily, you know, apparent. And I started to pull together all sorts of frequencies that I found uh, to enhance the divine feminine. And finally, I put this together and sent it to Taryn and uh, she started using it and it was like, she was amazed. She said, oh my God, it's like, this is incredible. And then just from her word of mouth and some Zooms that I did, people started hearing about it. Um, and it's like spread all over the world. And um, I, Cassie, I, I gave you the, the, um, the goddess program a couple of weeks ago and you just 
was the first time we talked today, you mentioned the fact that some of the things that are happening for you. Um, tell me. Yeah, no, it's been incredible, you know, and I'm, I'm, um, I'm working with a couple different other frequencies. It's, it, it feels like, for me, it feels a sense of empowerment. Um, and it also feels like there's a lot of, I don't know if you put Kuan Yin in or, or Tara, um, you know, Tara. Tara. A lot of female uh, uh, goddesses that through, okay. you know, Venus and, and, and Kuan Min and all of their, I was able to fit, find out the frequencies uh, for these people and that's included in there too. And there's a lot of hormonal balancing frequencies mm -hmm. in there and planetary frequencies like mm -hmm. Venus and, and empowerment frequencies. And mm -hmm. I just sort of did my little magic with my alchemy there and pulled together a program and put an intention out there for it and an affirmation in it. Um, and women have been saying that it's just, you know, every, every time I get feedback, it's I'm always sort of blown away because it's interesting that it's different for each person that uses the program in terms of what they're looking for. Some people have said to me, they feel like you said, a sense of empowerment. For some people, it's like, you know, I haven't been in a relationship for the past 15 years. And now all of a sudden I'm attracting all these men around me. I don't know why. Well, because I'm enhancing the divine feminine. So I'm allowing their expression of their femininity to come out in a greater way. Um, and uh, so that's been a fun program for me to play with. Um, and, uh, you know, I really, really love being able to, to do that because it allows me to do with the Healy, what I use, usually do with my individual patients in my office is to create custom protocols for them. Uh, and, so it's been, and, it's been great. And so just to dovetail on that, um, Doc, thank you so much for sharing. And, you know, for anyone that's, that's watching, you know, would you be able to share with us from your perspective, the difference between using or being in the medical model, the, the Western medical model with the pharmaceuticals, as opposed to using frequencies? And what is the difference? You know, I know that when we, well, I'd love for you. Well, I mean, the difference yeah. is the paradigm that, that, that Western right. medicine works in and the paradigm that a lot of natural practitioners work in. Uh, and it's so, it's, it, it boggles my mind that in this day and age with everything we know, uh, from Tesla and Einstein, that there are still people that don't get it, that the body, we are energetic beings. Right. You know, we come into a physical being because of the fact that our, you know, the, the atoms and, and, the, and in terms of how they vibrate on a slow rate. But in essence, you know, when you look at your body and your organs and your tissues and your cells and the atoms and the molecules, we're more space than we are solid uh, mass. And we're basically filled with electrons that are spinning and and we are energetic i mean i mean physicians should know that to begin with and they don't even think about it and that's the thing that always bugs me because how would you be able to do for example an ekg on somebody and get that uh you know the 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 ekg map uh if a person wasn't putting out the heart wasn't putting out an electrical signal because it's an electrical signal and the same thing with the brain when we do an eeg it's an electrical signal there'd be no way for them to be able to read anything if our bodies weren't electrical. So they practice in a paradigm of the physical space, which is physical substance, i.e. pharmaceuticals, whereas we practice in the realm of an energetic space. And so just like when I studied homeopathy back in the 70s, which is one of the things that I did when I first got into my practice, um, you know, the energetic type of protocols are much more effective than pharmaceutical uh, types. So, but it's even more interesting to think when you go think about it, you realize that, you know, the, the, the longest form of medicine on the planet that's still practiced today successfully is acupuncture, right? Mm. And we know that that's been practiced for at least 5,000 years mm. uh, and it's continued to be practiced and it's changed very little. Well, why would a culture use a type of medicine with all the new and current things that they could be doing to this day, 5,000 years later, if it didn't work, it does work. I and, mean, for that's the, the thing. And, and for so, those that don't understand what is acupuncture and how acupuncture works, the, it works with the meridian body. Right, it's the meridian, meridian meridian points, uh, points in the meridian system for, to unlock blocks, energetic blocks in the body is, is uh, on a you know, simple level what it does. And then you have homeopathy, which came around in the 1700s. And homeopathy is uh, basically another form of energy medicine because 
it's uh, it's the frequency or the energy of the substance that you're taking that's really not the substance. Because one of the ways that Western medicine debunks homeopathy is by saying that well, if you if you take if you do a uh, you know a test on a homeopathic remedy, there's nothing in it. Well, of course there's nothing in it because it's been uh, diluted out so many times, but that gives the power of the homeopathic. When you take a homeopathic remedy uh, and it says 10X or 100C or two, that's the amount of times that that remedy was actually shaken. And mm -hmm. when you shake something, you put energy into it. And so mm -hmm. the water uh, retains the energy and really the water is, uh, is, is what it's mixed in. Uh, is what really transmits the energy, which I'll get into the moment of how that works in the body. Um, and it's, it's an amazing tool that I use every day in my practice because homeopathic remedies are amazing because yep. they allow yeah. you to take conditions and diseases and literally reverse them. Yep. Uh, and I work a lot with what's called miasm therapy mm -hmm. and miasm therapy are a group of uh, six different miasms, classical miasms that are the root of all disease. So when a patient comes in to see me, for example, and say they have, um, oh, um, a really bad case, uh, a child comes in and he has a really bad case of like, you know, colds and sinus issues and mm. things of that nature, or somebody, our child will come in with a lot of rashes and things of that nature. The first thing I say to the parent is, who in your family had this condition? And it will always say to me, well, my mother or, you know, my, my father or my uncle, or, you know, had the exact same thing. And I say, well, case in point, because a lot of diseases is, is genetic in origin. We tend to be, we tend to have the diseases that our ancestors carry. It's been shown because you can see families where the prevalence of heart disease or the prevalence of cancer or the pre prevalence of autoimmune disease, it always seems to be related to what's in that person's ancestry. And things like miasmatic homeopathy allows us to release that frequency from the DNA of the cells of the body and reverse those cases. And I can't begin to tell you how many times I've been able to reverse these really stubborn cases that are based on genetics. And, and actually, when the, when the uh, person was born, they carried that into their genetics. And the great thing about the Healy is that we have all of these homeopathic uh, you know, frequencies along with tens of thousands of other frequencies. So it's really great. But the answer to your question about, you know, Western medicine versus, well, probably term Eastern medicine is the fact that everything changed in the 1930s. Literally, that was the time, 1930, when medicine was changed, unfortunately, for the worse forever. And what I mean by that is that uh, one of the Rockefellers, traveled to, uh, and the Rockefellers were an oil company, they traveled to Germany to Bayer Pharmaceuticals, which was uh, one of the only pharmaceutical companies at that time. And they realized there was a way to use the end products of oil manufacturing to make pharmaceuticals, because that's how more pharmaceuticals are made. It's in that process of oil manufacturing. And he thought, oh my God, if I could bring this back to the United States, and I am so rich, and I can tell, go to all the uh, medical schools and tell them, I will fund your research if instead of using, uh, you know, homeopathy and all these other types of, uh, uh, you know, uh, energetic forms, you stop doing that and start, you know, using my uh, patented, you know, medications, um, I'll pay you. And unfortunately, all the medical schools succumb to that. Uh, it was the Flexner report in the 1930s, and to this day, that's the way it happened. So all the homeopathic medical schools in the United States, um, you know, went out of business, and um, and now we have pharmaceutical medical schools. And so to prove my point to anyone that ever has a question, especially I do a lot of teaching. I do a lot of teaching on the professional level with uh, traditional docs, um, and I always say to them. You know what the physician's desk reference is. I mean, most people know, know what it is in the Merck's manual. Well, basically, the Merck's manual is the manual that all doctors use to tell you how to treat any possible disease. It's literally a book. It has every disease that's out there. It explains what the disease is, and it tells you specifically how to treat it, what medications and how to treat it. Well, back in 1999, Merck, which was in the 1800s a, pharma, a, a, a homeopathic, 
company sent out as a gift to all the doctors the one the, as a hundredth anniversary gift the original 1899 uh, Merck manual and mm. interestingly enough it has every disease like we have today but instead of telling you which specific pharmaceutical medications to take it is listed every homeopathic remedy is in here and oh. herbal remedy and so I always say if this was the physician's guidebook up until the 1930s and this is what worked for every disease why would we just throw it out and just reject it uh, as opposed to saying, wow, this is really cool. Why don't we continue to do that? And that's how medicine changed at that point in time. And so we went from a physical paradigm to an energetic paradigm. And thank, uh, I mean, we went from an energetic paradigm to a physical paradigm. And thankfully, uh, you know, times have gone back now to change and where people are really feeling that, you know, pharmaceutical medicine doesn't work. I mean, a great example was over the, you know, the COVID the last three years. I mean, it's mm -hmm. amazing how Healy comes out right at the yep. time yep. of COVID. And I don't think there were any accidents whatsoever that, that happened. Absolutely I think not. it was divinely meant to be because yep. there was nothing out there to treat COVID. And yet Healy had programs to be able to reverse the condition. And that proved to everyone out there that was even a doubter that this type of uh, treatment and protocols actually work energetically. So that's really the story about how this has happened. And again, I just guess that I was just always a little a step ahead of everyone. And I knew back in the 70s that I was going to do things like homeopathy because I really felt that that's the way it should be. And, uh, and here we are. Uh, and here we are. World. <laughs> so if so, if someone were brand new to frequencies mm -hmm. and they were they were they're hearing this talk and they're they're you know on the precipice of really wanting to move from a you know they they've been in the Western medical model, which I know many have been for a very long time, and they are running up against just roadblock after roadblock, so to speak. And they're they're hearing the word frequency and they're going, okay, meridians, eastern philosophy, spirituality, you know, maybe I need to eat a little better, okay, or maybe I need to change some environments or what, but can you tell us just basic 101, what is frequency medicine? What is energy medicine? What is it doing to the body? What is it, how is it sure. building our cells? Right, well, I mean, it's, it's basically, when you talk about frequency, the way I like to do it is to tell people that when, when it comes down to it, uh, everything is frequency, light is frequency, sound is frequency um you know uh you go to your car in a, in a parking lot and you click your 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 you know car transducer and you only your car opens up why does your car only open up rather than all the cars in the parking lot because that that little device is set to the specific frequency of your car and so that's why it opens up when you drive a car and you listen to the radio and you don't like a specific station or the music that's playing, you, you go from 101.7 to 102.3 and you have different music because you're going to a different frequency. So, you know, basically uh, frequency is just uh, a word uh, that is uh, determined by, you know, a certain amount of cycles for over a certain period of time because that's what frequencies are. They're cyclical over time. Uh, one cycle per second, you know, one, you know, two per second there. Uh, and, and it's a mathematical, um, you know, specific situation. And, you know, it's always been said that, um, well, you know, uh, Tesla's famous quote, if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, think of frequency, energy, and vibration. Right. Um, and because everything comes down to mathematics and on the planet and i think it's been known and most people that study a lot of the esoteric sciences realize that everything is based in math uh i mean when you think about it and so it's no surprise that the body would be working with those kinds of things like the golden ratio and the sulfagio frequencies i mean these are things that exist in nature right. i mean we just have to look at nature to see that everything has a cycle uh, you know, and it, that's all about frequencies. They're cycles, cycles per second. So that's how I try to allow people to understand uh, what frequencies are. They're not some mystical, magical things, mm -hmm. but it's what happens every day when the sun rises and sets and the moon cycles and the seasons. And it's cycles, you know, uh, and everything is in accordance with that. Um, so what we're doing is we're trying to get our body back into that sense of balance with all of those cycles. And as a matter of fact, Nuno Nina has his new 
programs now where he specifically creates programs to align you with the specific cycles by putting in your longitude and latitude and you know date and um, and uh, start you on a process to align the body that way. So it's getting into the natural rhythm of nature is really what frequency uh, and energy medicine really is, going back to the roots of our beginnings. And so just to show everyone, I'm wearing my microcurrent um, and oh. Doc is wearing his Healy coil. Um, oh. Can you share with us a little bit about, so from what and I we understand, also have here, oh yeah, we uh, have Mac Healy. I also have my Mac Healy, uh, which I've been beta testing uh, for the company. Uh, I'm on the, um, I'm the U.S. representative for the, for the product uh, development team for Healy. And so I, I'm lucky I get to, uh, to try out all the new gadgets and stuff uh, and the new programs to be able to report back uh, and, you know, talk about some of the things that, um, that I need, you know, I think should be changed or altered or things that are, you know, made better. Um, and so uh, the thing about the devices is that they're different and there's no, sub there's not one better than the other and there's not one, you know, okay. substitution for the other. They all have different functions and they do all have different aspects and they all work, uh, what I say, synergistically. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of uh, when you use them, what you're using them for. Uh, and I like to boil it down to, to really three simple ways of explaining. So the thing about the Healy is that it basically uses more of what we call elect an electromagnetic type of a uh, process. And that's the key, I think, that really uh, assisted me because I was using frequency therapy, but I wasn't using microcurrent. I hadn't been introduced to microcurrent until I actually got um, a, a Healy. And to me, that's the powerful thing that makes the frequencies really work better because of the fact that it's almost like um, the, uh, the microcurrent is like the car and the frequencies are like the driver. And uh, mm. so uh, the microcurrent comes in and the frequency is directed to the place in the body it wants to go. So it's basically uh, um, uh, an electrical uh, type of a signal. Then comes along the Healy coil, which works on a whole different level, which is uh, what I call scalar wave technology. Mm -hmm. And scalar wave technology is technology that's based on uh, Tesla. Uh, there are basically, if you look at a, at a uh, Healy coil, it's basically two uh, Tesla coils that are set apart by about 180 degrees in opposite directions, which, which uh, creates a, what's called a zero point field. Mm -hmm. uh, and that field is very, very powerful and very, very directed um, and can be used without any specific connection. Whereas the microcurrent, obviously we're running current through the body to change what we call the cell membrane potential of the, each individual cell, because every one of our cells are like little batteries uh, and they run current through them. And, um, you know, people don't realize, you know, there's a simple answer to life and health that is so easy when you're somebody that uses Healy, but so obtuse for somebody that's never heard of Healy, because think about it. Our cells are healthiest uh, when they are at the negative 70 millivolt level. And those are healthy functioning robust cells. And as we go through life and we're exposed to things like uh, toxins and stress and all of those things in our environment that start to create a lot of inflammation. And I'm always really uh, the person that says that inflammation is the cause of all disease. Yeah. That membrane potential starts to drop. Right. And as that membrane potential starts to drop, our actual cellular energy starts to drop. And I like to, for lay people, compare it to uh, a flashlight. Say our body is a flashlight. Well, you know what happens if you have a flashlight over time, the light starts to dim right. until a point when you've used it so many times that the, the flashlight doesn't work anymore. And what do you do? You unscrew it and you put in new batteries to basically recharge that light and then it's bright again. Well, it's exactly the same thing that happens in the body. Over time, our batteries start to run out. And if we don't do anything about it to recharge those cells on a daily basis, we get into that place where we get fatigue, we get inflammation, uh, and then as it drops lower, we get tumors, we get cancer, and then as it drops lower, 
uh, we get to zero and what happens? Our lights go out. In other words, we're no longer, you know, alive. And that can be seen when you see the flat line on, a, on an EKG. So the key is, is that in order to really, um, you know, live a long, healthy life, it's so easy to just recharge your cells on a daily basis. And how do we do that? We just run a microcurrent program. So I've always said to people, there's no replacement for the Healy bracelets and the microcurrent. The coil does not replace the microcurrent on programs. The coil is used for different situations. Yeah. I always like to tell people that if you're dealing with a strictly physical type of an issue, always use microcurrent. Mm -hmm. If you're working more in the realm of uh, emotional, mental, spiritual, you can easily use the scalar. And then we have this third device that's coming along now, which is the MagHealy. And as it sounds, M-A-G, the basic principle of the MagHealy is magnetic. Mm -hmm. So with the MagHealy, we have what's called pulse magnetic waves that run through the heel, through the Mac Healy that are different. And they are also extremely, extremely powerful. I would have to say based on, you know, using the, the devices in three different ways that I have found personally that the Mac Healy is a much stronger effect that you can feel almost instantaneously more so, for example, than just running say with the coil. Um, and also what's important to note is the Mac Healy doesn't have only one quantum sensor like the Healy has, but it has two quantum sensors. Yeah. So we're able to run, uh, you know, actual frequency specific microcurrent according to Dr. Carolyn Mencken, because we're running dual frequencies at the same time. Right. One of those channels is for the condition and the other channel is for the organ. And on the Mac Healy's uh, app, you can actually see those two frequencies going one right after the other. So for example, 40 would be for inflammation. And then we'd have another a number for the specific organ, and you can see it running mm. Mm. those two channels, and that's affecting the body in its own unique way, very, very powerfully. And the other thing is, is that, you know, in terms of the uh, frequencies themselves, you know, the Healy goes from uh, 0.1 to 1.0 megahertz in terms of its level of what it can put out, but the Mag Healy goes from 0.1 to 12.5 megahertz. And that difference is profound because uh, at the 10.0 megahertz level is where frequencies really, really affect the body's water system. And I always say to people, when you're really treating the body with frequencies, what you're really doing is you're treating the water in the body with frequencies because the water in your body is actually what's carrying those frequencies to the organs and everything else in your system. When you think about it, the body is actually you know, 95% water. Um, and when we send those frequencies in the body, the water molecules, the hydrogen and oxygen are really what carry those frequencies around through the system. Because if you've ever heard of, um, have you heard of um, Gerald Pollack's book, The Fourth Phase of Water? Mm, mm, yes. So there's actually, it's not just, you know, ice and, and, and drinking water and steam, but there's also a a fourth phase of water, which is sort of like a crystalline matrix type of a effect, which is a great way of describing it, mm -hmm. because it really lines a lot of our uh, cartilage and, and a lot of the other areas inside our body that uh, allows us to transmit the frequencies almost instantaneously, because otherwise, if you thought about it, it would take time from the frequencies to move to certain areas but it's a simultaneous process when it works in, in that way. Uh, so water is really the secret. So the first secret I say to patients when they want to get the best Healy session is to one, create a really great positive intention. And the second one that's really important for any of the Healy programs or sessions is to make sure your hydration is really good. Because if you have low hydration, not only does the circle turn black instead of white, but you're not really transmitting those frequencies into the into your body. So I always tell people to drink an adequate amount of water, but it's not just water alone. Right. A lot of times it, you, it, it, mo people can drink water and then they, you know, it, they excrete water. In order to really retain water, you need electrolytes. And when you think about batteries, all batteries have some form of an electrolyte. So therefore, what I say to pe people that use Healy is that it's a really great idea 
if you want to, just to sprinkle a little bit of uh, Himalayan sea salt, yeah. for example, in your right. in your uh, in your liter of water, you won't taste it, but that little amount will conduct an electrical flow. Um, so uh, again, it has a lot to do with that. And what's great about the Mac Healy is that we now have programs that follow Carolyn's, you know, frequency specific microcurrent approach, uh, which is very, very powerful. But we also have a couple of other programs. One of the ones that I've been using now and playing around with is the um, is the uh, water imprinting uh, mm. programs. So what I do is I I take my you know water container. I've already finished it for the day. I have my water and I put my uh, Maghili on top of it and I dial up whichever frequency that I want on the program for what I'm looking for and I drink that and it goes. Again, it's another way of getting the frequencies directly into the water of your body, which is nice. And then we also have what's called the atmosphere programs. And those allow us to put the Healy in a room and not just affect ourselves, but affect anybody else in the room. And, um, and we have some really cool programs there for every possible condition you can think for. Oh, um, uh, a know, veterinary, veterinary hospital could run right. a run a Mag Healy. Um, a corporate office could have a Mag Healy. Right. Um, a yoga mm -hmm. studio could have their own Mag Healy. Yes, a I mean, massage even room. Own, yeah, even in your own home, there's programs for uh, when the family comes to dinner at, at night when they gather around. The holidays. Everybody like me that <laughs> tends to like have a creative bent. I'm also a glass artist. So when I'm doing my down in my studio in my house and my kilns and stuff, doing my glass work, I put the creativity cycle on to get me to be even more creative. So uh, I think, you know, this is really going to be exciting for people. And, you know, it doesn't replace the Healy. It's not the Healy. The Healy is a right. whole different animal right. than the right. Healy and right. the coil. And they all have I want people to know it's a synergistic approach right. and they all have their place in right. the process. And what's really cool that I have found is if you run them simultaneously. So for example, I can run the coherence program uh, uh, with my coil, but at the same time, I can put it in my room and run the, the Maghili coherence program. And then I get that synergy between those two and it's even more and more empowering and strengthening, uh, which is really, really exciting. So I'm really glad because when we think about it now, we have the market covered. There's nothing out there, no other devices that anybody can show me that does what the Healy does because we have the electromagnetic, we have the scalar, and then we have the pulse magnetic. So we have really covered the bases in terms of every form of uh, energetic frequency delivery system uh, that we have, Healy has. No. So. And, and speaking of your affinity for research, we also have the research. Yes, we also have the research. And, and Marcus has been publishing a lot of papers recently that have been getting accepted into a lot of different journals uh, about his work. Uh, and that's always, you know, Marcus came to the U.S., many people know, um, a, a month ago. And he actually called me on the phone and said, I'm wondering, I'd like to try something. I want, and you're the guy that probably can put this together for me. I'm going to be coming for the uh, the second anniversary uh, conference in uh, Orlando, but before that, I'm going to take a trip to San Francisco because I've never been to San Francisco before, and I've had an invitation to come meet some of the some of the uh, leading researchers in the field at places like Stanford University and the Heart Math Institute and things of that nature. And so, uh, you're in LA. Could you put together a group of about 25? doctors or other health practitioners that use Healy and I'd like to do a full day immersive program with them. And uh, I said, oh, absolutely, not even a question. And uh, I did that. And he shared with us a lot of the uh, various types of research that he's currently doing and, uh, and is publishing uh, out there. And so that's always great for us, you know, scientifically. So that's been my, you know, my, my journey to this point in time uh, until something that I am unveiling today uh, to the whole community, which to me is really exciting because um, I, uh, I want to always look about taking Healy to the next level. Mm -hmm. And I've been working with somebody for the last year who is a master in the field of uh, holophotonics and holoceuticals and what he does is he creates these programs 
that are able to capture light and sound of frequencies and they come into what's called fractal patterns and basically you know fractals are really the mathematical expression of everything um, uh, and, and holograms we know about that each piece of a hologram contains the whole and so we've worked together for the last year to come up with what we've called the Healy Holoceuticals, mm. which we're actually in, unveiling today for the very first time to the public. Uh, we've worked on it for a year, we've checked it out, we've tested it. And so you actually have the scoop, the exclusive on this, uh, Cassie, because nobody else has heard this before. Uh, so one of the things I wanna do before we complete today is to really uh, share this uh, new process that we're doing because, you know, we're all looking to kind of uh, create and enhance the uh, Healy experience. And I'm always, you know, working in that, what we call that five dimensional or 5D phase of things. And so I wanted to bring the Healy up into that, incorporate these other aspects. I wanted to incorporate light and I wanted to incorporate sound and all the other aspects of frequencies to get more of an immersive experience. And so I want to show you here, if you wouldn't mind yeah, you know, sharing the screen yep. with me or allowing me to share the screen. I will I make you to, host. Uh, show you some of the stuff we've come up with. And I think you'll you'll find that it's really, really cool. There you are. So did you have my screen yet or no? I do. I shared screen. Yep. Your host. So you have me here. Do you see my, let's see, I may have done this too premature here. Uh, I didn't really share the screen yet, so I have to. Um, uh, how do I get back to? Um, let's see. Should be in the bottom, the green. See, I'm there. down to a tiny little thing now. So uh, there you are. Let's get back to where I was. Hopefully. And ladies and gentlemen, we will put the um, the link uh, to the holoceuticals in the thread um, so that you can um, view what it is that they are um, launching, um, which is an accompaniment, obviously, to Healy um, okay, and, and so fascinating. Um, yeah, uh, thank you for doing that. And of course, anyone that is also interested in uh, any type of custom um, uh, time waiver program, I'd be more than happy to uh, work with you on that. So let's hit the, the share screen first. That's what I didn't do. And um, let me get to... And I'll put all of this in the chat. Um, and there will also be a link as well um, for the recording that I Can will... you see this? Can you see this? Oh, sure. Not yet. Okay, so I shared the screen. So you should be able to see my screen right now. Not yet. Can't see it? Not yet. That's too bad. Um, I'm not sure why. Let's see. You are host and hmm. We did this right before we started. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm trying to get back to the beginning here. So, all right. So I'm sharing my screen, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and it should go full screen. There we go. Okay. Excellent. Let's see if I can get to this here. <laughs> do you see it now? I can see it now. Okay, great. So this is the um, this is the uh, site, and so we have here, as you can see, we have all the different um, Healy programs, like the Gold Cycle, the Deep Cycle, the Chakras, things of that nature. And what we have created is a specific program for each one. So for example, uh, let's just say I wanted to run the third eye or the throat chakra looks interesting here. Uh, mm. What I would do is I would um, click this, mm. and this.
And so what we've done, or I should say what Keith has done, is he's layered all the frequencies of the actual programs of every one of the Healy programs that he's been able to run through his devices and has come up with both a specific sound, a music, and a specific visual that incorporates the frequencies of each one of the Healy, individual Healy programs. Hmm. So let me take that off for a second and let me see if I can. Go and of course, to have this added visual and to have this added sound, sound as an accompaniment is only going to enhance the frequency experience, so to speak. Oh, absolutely. Because now, right. like I said, it's more of what I call like a 5D experience because right. now you're getting the, the, the visual, you're getting the sound. But what Keith also likes to do uh, is he allow, likes to connect uh, what's called a Pico projector, which is a tiny little projector that hooks up through Bluetooth to your phone or your computer. And then he projects these images directly onto a person's body. So in sessions, when he does a Healy session with somebody, he has them, if they're comfortable, take off their shirt and he actually projects these uh, holograms onto their body so that their skin actually absorbs the photons of the frequencies. But you can get the same thing just by looking at it. You can get it if you want to by projecting it on a wall or even using it on a, on a computer screen. Uh, I'm going to run one now for the balance program so you can see that it's completely different. Mm. And so he's taken the frequencies from yes, he's taken the actual frequencies from right. the Healy program themselves and has been able, he has all sorts of equipment that he uses to layer in the fractal layers to layer the music. So the music actually has the frequencies of that particular program running uh, in the background. And along with the images that occur are the images that are based on those particular frequencies with every one of those programs. So um, it's kind of, you know, like I said, we're, we're really trying to give people more of an immersive experience when they do their healing and use the frequencies of light and color and the frequencies of sound, as well as all the frequencies we get from either the microcurrent, the scalar frequencies, or the magnetic. And of course, it can be used simultaneously in conjunction. It's all synchronistic. Um, and we just wanted to take that next quantum leap, uh, you know, to, uh, to do this. And I was able to show this to Marcus when I was with him in San Francisco, and he really enjoyed it and thought this was really, really cool. Um, so uh, here we are. We're releasing it today, you know, for the first time. Um, and we're hoping that people, uh, you know, will be able to use it um, any way they choose to, like I said, personally by, uh, you know, it's almost like a mandala and you know how mandalas right. create yes. the, the whole purpose of mandalas that were made, you know, thousands of years ago was to really focus the brain um, into a certain, uh, you know, a frequency pattern. Uh, but now with computerization, we've been able to take it to like the ultimate degree. And I'll tell you something, what happened today, which was really no accident. <laughs> I get a thing on my, uh, on my phone today that there's this um, Amazon has oh, yeah. twice a year, these real uh, amazing specials that come yeah. up yeah. twice a year. Yeah. Uh, and what pops up on my screen, I mean, it's sometimes it's amazing. I wonder how this happens, you know, but I shouldn't wonder because everything in the universe is connected and everything, you know, uh, is, is entangled. Um, and what comes up on my screen today is we buy this tablet and what they show is mm. a 3D tablet, oh. literally, which allows anything that you put on that tablet to automatically come into 3D. So that means a TV show or, or anything you oh put on your tablet. And I said to myself, oh my God, I'm releasing this today. And one of the things I said to Keith two days ago was, Keith, we got to do this in virtual reality somehow. We got to take the next step into virtual reality so people can actually put glasses on and actually be in these things at the same time they're running the sessions. And lo and behold, what comes up today is these 3D tablets. For $199, I could not 
believe it. And oh. immediately I ordered one because imagine seeing these things in 3D. Of course. While you're doing them, right? It's the of next course. level up. And I just put it out. See, it's, I'm telling you, it's, you have to realize that if you, if you are somebody that does a lot of intention and a lot of affirmation and a lot of manifestation, like I do on a daily basis in my life, I shouldn't be surprised that these things show up because they're really an extension of just who I am and what I do. And one of the things I've always said to people is, you know, I've always been somebody that's been very tuned in and very psychic in a way and that kind of thing. But since I've used the Healy for the last three years uh, or two and a half years, and I've uh, done sessions every day, what I have found personally is my perception of being able to predict the future and know what's going to happen has skyrocketed. I can't begin to tell you how many times that I've been able to predict so many things before they've happened. And I've told people about stuff and even in my life, and it just shows up. It's like I'm connected to something, you know, because time is relative. It's like I'm seeing into the future. And I talked to Marcus about that when we had lunch. I said, you know, Marcus, really interesting thing is happening to me. I've always been tuned in, perceptive. I've worked in the quantum field for the yep. last 25 years. But ever since I've had the Healy and I use it every day, I find that my powers have yep. multiplied like a hundredfold. And he smiled yep. and laughed and he said, of course, Steve, you <laughs> tap into the information field every single day when you use the Healy. And so that connection that you make gets stronger and stronger and stronger on a daily basis. And since who you are is somebody that's always been kind of tuned in, you've now expanded your ability to tap into that field. And that's why I literally, things come at me on a daily basis. Like all of a sudden the 3D tablet, you know, for $199, when I was just saying to Keith two days ago, we need to make this thing go virtual reality. So what can I say? You know, my life is blessed. And, um, so many great things have come into my life since I've gotten involved with uh, with Healy on so many levels. And it's exciting because I really think, uh, Cassie, that we're just seeing that, like Marcus says, he even yeah. said at, at the meeting he had with the doctors, you're only seeing the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. I have so many things that I'm planning on doing and releasing down the line in terms of different programs, in terms of different devices. Um, he talked a little about, I hope it's okay to share it, Marcus, if you're listening, but he talked to the doctors about that his one of his projects uh, that he's working on currently right now is a little device that allows you to see how much incoherence you are, you, that you actually oh. are in, in your body at any moment in time. That's the next thing he's working on. Um, and so he continues to do his research. Um, and uh, I continue to contribute in my way to the product development team um, and my work, you know, with uh, Time Waver, uh, with Healy, with bringing forward, you know, new things for people to try and experience. And it's really exciting. My life is really blessed. And so for those of you that are listening, you know, we're going to, he's, he's introducing this today, the holoceuticals today. We're going to put this in the link below. We're having Mag Healy available to us. Probably I would say I'm on the board, uh, the Healy board director. So we've had a talk about that. So we think that it'll probably be available in the United States sometime, not sure the exact dates, but like maybe mid-August. Okay. Um, the, you know, the problem, as we all know, uh, was the chip is a very special chip that's inside the Mag Healy um, that, interestingly enough, is the same chip that's in a very popular automobile console. And mm -hmm. so the lack of chips out there oh, because of, of uh, COVID made it a little difficult uh, for Healy to get this, you know, up and running, but they are in production, I know for a fact. Uh, and they will be available in the U.S. You know, sometime um, I would say mid to late August at the latest. For us and to then, use. and then, if someone's just kind of watching and they're thinking, okay, you know, I don't really have a meditation practice or I don't really have an affirmation practice. Um, two questions: What would you recommend someone download? Uh, just a list of affirmations for them to say in the morning, maybe at night before they go to bed. Uh, there are many, I mean, there are many places online. If you just look for, you know, affirmations, you can see many different books have been written with affirmations. Um, I also like to tell people when you're going to do affirmations, and if you do have a Healy, uh, you know, some of the programs that would be appropriate to run would be the coherence program, yep. obviously, yep. and also uh, some of the uh, chakra programs like the third eye and crown chakra hmm. and to facilitate going deeper uh, in meditation. Um, and before I get off here, I want to talk yeah. 
about yep. two of my favorite Healy programs, because people always say to me, what are your favorite Healy programs? Um, that was going to be my next question, by the way. Yeah, well, of Please, course. I, I mean, to... there's so many questions that people have written in, and I, I keep thinking I'll think them, and then you will right. answer them, like the water and the salt. And, and <laughs> so, yeah. Well, you Go see, ahead. that's an example of me already. I just being have to think of, about it, and then all, you. Already being ahead of you and seeing that, because, like I said, I have that ability to yep. kind of go, you know, fast forward. Uh, yep. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm living a little bit in the future, I feel, in my life, kind <laughs> of a little ahead of everybody. Um, but there are two programs, especially that I really are my favorites in Healy that I always love to share because sometimes people, I find that when I share this, people are surprised, number one. And number two, they don't even realize why I find that it's important. So the first thing I, I, I that's sort of obvious is the fact that, you know, we're all under stress all of us on this planet. And the last four, three to four years have probably been the most stressful that us as a collective human beings have been under since the beginning of time, I would say, because we've all been going through everything that's associated with COVID and on every realm of health and, and money and family and relationships and all of that sort of stuff. And, you know, I have, I have a way of even testing patients when they first come into my office with my device in terms of what are, what are their actual levels of stress and I'll tell you, having done this for 25 years, it's like so off the charts right now. I used to have maybe 15 to 20% of my patients would come in and they'd be recording high levels of stress. But now 85% of all my patients that come into the office are, are recording very high levels of not only physical stress, but mental, emotional stress. And so what's the reason for that is that we're all basically in what I call sympathetic, yeah. meaning the sympathetic nervous system, which is the classic fight or flight nervous system. It's the primary nervous system. Um, everyone is living in, in fight or flight. And that leads, that stress, you know, leads to inflammation. And that inflammation leads to all disease. So I can see it as a timeline. Okay, stress, inflammation, chronic disease. And so how do we get out of uh, sympathetic? Well, we need to get into parasympathetic. That's right. Okay. So there is a way to actually reverse the sympathetic and it happens real quickly. And that is by working to stimulate the vagus nerve, which is one of the largest nerves that goes through the entire body and it deals with the parasympathetic nervous system. Uh, and that's the opposite of fight and flight. That's the you know calm, relaxing, balanced state that the body goes into. And so we have a program uh, in the Healy called bed rest. It's mm -hmm. with the sleep programs. Mm -hmm. And that program is specifically designed to stimulate the vagus nerve. That's right. And so that is one of the CES or cranial electrical stimulation programs that are best used with either ear clips, if you have ear clips, mm -hmm. or if you don't, you can achieve the same result by using the sticky pads and putting them on the mastoid bone, which is the bone right behind the ear, that bone when you press behind the ear, it's the yep. mastoid bone. You put the sticky pads or the ear clips and you run that bed rest program, it immediately switches you off from sympathetic fight and flight to parasympathetic, which is the relaxation and recovery phase. It happens real fast. And it's something that I really believe is a program that people should run at least once a day. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a long program. It could be done you know, at bedtime before you're getting ready to go to sleep. It's a nice one to calm you down before you okay. want to go to bed. Yeah. Um, and it's something that we have access to. And I think it's like, like I said, it's one of my favorite programs. I was so excited to find that the Mag Healy has a bunch of Vegas balancing programs, oh, Vegas okay. nerve balancing programs, both directly and also the atmosphere. So you can put it in the room and, you know, say you have a bunch of like three and four year olds that are running around like, you know, <laughs> like they do, putting the Vegas nerve program on would probably calm them down uh, greatly. So that's uh, one of my uh, favorite programs. And then the other favorite program that I personally have is the bioenergetic vitalization program, which is one that's in the professional. And the reason why I like that program is to me, that is the ultimate anti-aging program. Mm. Okay. Because think about it. We have two ways of creating anti-aging that no other devices do. Number one, we have that ability that I explained earlier of raising the cell membrane potential to negative 70 millivolts when we do a microcurrent program, which is gonna continually establish healthy, new, young cells in our body. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if most people are aware of this, but every seven years, 
all the cells in our body completely turn over. So we actually create a new body every seven years. So a literally new body, new cells, new organs, new everything. Some of them turn over faster than others, but in seven years time, you will not see uh, us, all the cells we see now, they won't be there. So we have an ability, uh, you know, using the microcurrent to raise that uh, uh, micro voltage up on a daily basis, giving us that youthful cellular yeah. ability. And then we have the bioenergetic vitalization programs, which are the frequencies of the stem cells. Right. And the stem cells are the primordial cells in the body, which when we're born originally, they go out and form all the different organs in our, in our body. And I'm sure, you know, stem cells these days, in the last five years, it's been very, very uh, popular, especially on the West Coast here. But I'm sure you've heard for many, many years, so many people flying to Switzerland or down yeah. to Mexico and spending yeah. tens of thousands of dollars getting these stem cell injections only to have to return six months later, you know, to get more injections and spending all that money when we have in our Healy the ability to turn on the frequencies of all the stem cells of our body. So think about it, combining the microcurrent with the stem cells, the perfect anti-aging program that we have. And I do it all the time. I have that program. Uh, I just turned 70 uh, in March. Um, I think I look pretty good for a 70 year old. Um, and, uh, and I will continue to use that program on a daily basis because you know I wanna live as long a healthy life as I possibly can. So those are my two favorites. Um, but any other questions? We have some additional time. I'm willing to stay as long as you want to have. Yeah, me absolutely. So. Um, what else is out there? Well, I wanted to ask just some different amazing programs for Mag Healy. Uh -huh. Just certain different, maybe, um, are, are the stem cells also in Mag Healy? And uh, well, we have, it's different um, okay. with the Mag Healy. Let me bring it up because okay. I haven't committed it to memory yet because right. there's so many new programs. Right. And I will tell you here as it turns on. They changed today. We got an upgrade for the first time uh, in two months on the Mac Healy. I turned it on right before I to make sure I had it. And I was like, oh my God, the whole program changed. Uh, I mean, it's really, it was rudimentary, you know, because a bunch of us have this that we're doing it. Now it got really pretty. So uh, it's uh, it's really uh, it's really nice here. All right. So let me get back to where I am. So we have the classic programs, which are the classic um, magnetic programs here. Uh, we do have one called Regeneration, okay. which contains the stem cells. So that's Love the this. one there. Um, that's a good one. The other okay. program that has been the most, for me, fascinating because it happened so fast, I couldn't believe it. And my favorite Mag Healy program, the, the others where I was talking about the Healy, mm -hmm. my favorite Mag Healy program, has to be hands down the sleep program mm -hmm. because I run the back Healy near my bed in my bedroom when I go to bed at night and I set it and it runs for like five hours or more. I got to tell you something. I have never had the level of sleep that I am having now running the back Healy every night. Mm -hmm. But what's really interesting is, you know, there are many times because I have to speak to Germany and we're like nine hours difference. So, you know, either I'm like up until two, three in the morning or I'm waking up really early and instead of getting my usual eight hours sleep, I'm getting only like maybe five hours sleep, which doesn't really work for me. Uh, I find that when I run the sleep program, even if I have only five hours of physical sleep, when I wake up in the morning, it feels like I had eight hours of sleep. Mm. It actually gives me that same feeling. Whereas if I hadn't run this and I learned to do five hours, I'd be like the next day, nah, forget it. I couldn't really function up to my you know, abilities. So that's actually my favorite Mag Healy program is the mm -hmm. one that I run at night. Um, then we also have, let's see here. Um, you know, we have good, we have programs like Positive Mood, uh, the classic programs, Balanced Body. Um, we have the Atmosphere programs, which I told about that you put mm -hmm. in a room. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. we have one for studying. So when your kids are studying at night, when they're doing their homework, the creativity one I use when I'm in my uh, studio doing my glass work. Mm -hmm. We have one if you're in your office. Uh, we ha even have one that I think people are going to love called prosperity. Oh. Who doesn't love prosperity? We have a prosperity frequency. Oh. We can run all day long around us. Oh. Uh, a, a program for, um, for the car. So a lot of people don't realize, you know, electrical cars right now, like the Tesla, 
and other electric cars have become really, really popular here, at least in, in LA. Yeah. Yeah. And people don't realize when you drive an electrical car, there's a grid that's established in the car that you're in the center of. And you're getting, you know, not necessarily a great field that you're sitting in. And by running this in the car program, you're able to counteract, um, you know, that situation. We have a workout program to enhance your muscles when you're working out in the gym. Mm. Family Harmony, which is a great program to work to put at the family dinner table when everyone's <laughs> sitting around. A children playing program, hands one when you eat. Um, we have one, uh, let's see here, let's go to the next level here, Atmosphere 2. We have Coherence, which goes <laughs> nicely with wearing the Coherence program. We have the sleep, as I talked about, holistic health. We have one for uh, putting in a room and dispelling any of the electric magnetic sensitivity. In other uh, words, EMFs. So you can put this in a room, uh, and dispel the EMFs. We even have one called energy clearing. So you can actually clear, you know how you have, some people have to come in, they hire somebody to come yeah. in with an energy clearing on their house. Yeah. You can yeah. actually do it with the magnetic healing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let's see here. Uh. I'm dead for a sec. The thing about the Maculi that's great is that um, you can use it while it's sitting on the charging stand. So I tend to use, I use it, especially when I'm doing the atmosphere programs, uh, I have it sitting right on its own, you know, charging stand. So the battery doesn't go down because um, I use it a lot. Uh, so we also, I talked about sleep. We mm -hmm. have the energy clearing. We have a chakra balancing program that balances the chakra. That would be a good one to do for meditation relationship one for dealing with relationships mm. uh, we have one for animals which is so cool you know my dream is to get some of these and i work with a lot of the rescues here uh in la i do have a rescue dog uh who i adore and I when i've worked in rescues when these dogs come in they're so scared and frightened yep. and they're all barking and whatever uh, and i used to tell the person that was running it run some you know use certain types of music to kind of calm the dog stuff now we actually have a program we can put uh in uh you know in rescues or even in your own home with a group of, of, of animals and then we even have one for plants so it's going to be used in your garden to enhance that and those are the atmosphere programs then we move into the water activation programs and as i've shown you all you need to do is take the healy and place it on a uh, a glass container and you run it, it's only a 10 minute program and you can charge up water for the day and those frequencies will you know, be enhanced because we can do that with the regular Healy by putting the Healy adjacent to it. But somehow when I've talked to Marcus, he says that, that the pulse magnetic actually even enhances the water more than just the regular Healy. And so um, let's see here, we have, Here for a sec. Victoria says something is always running at our house on the resonance and the microcurrent on my husband and I, Victoria Rochester. Rich. Yeah, the great thing is that this can run in the background now. So the neat thing about the mag Healy is you can just set it up. It runs for five, six hours at a time and just to, you know, turn the switch. Uh, and just you know, do your life while you have it actually, uh, actually in there in the background. And so activation has things like uh, cell harmony, uh, skin. Um, it has uh, oh, it has great programs. If any of you do any kind of fasting or intermittent fasting, mm. it has three specific programs oh, for wow. that. It's the morning fasting, the noon fasting, and the evening fasting. So you actually charge your water up and you drink it during those periods of time while you're doing fasting. Because you know how it is sometimes when you're doing a fasting program, it's difficult. Imagine being able to get the balance and frequencies while you're doing a fast. How sure. cool is that, right? Oh, sure. Oh, all the uh, dietitians, all the, all the integrative medicine doctors, functional medicine doctors are gonna love this. Absolutely. We have you know water coherence, mental clarity. We have before and after stress. Uh, we have... Um, one for bioenergetic defense, which is a similar one that we have in the Healy that was created for things like COVID, for stimulating our immune system. And we, we do have another one for plants. So instead of just watering your plants with just regular water, how about putting this 
on the container the, that you're watering your plants and water it with frequencies that will enhance the plants. And think about all well. think about all the very expensive water you know reverse osmosis or exactly. um, right. you know right. all, all right. the different water alkaline alkaline water devices that are out there. Amazing. Right. And hydrogen water devices, which is the newest thing actually right now. And then we have the specific McMakin programs, which are for all of the various organs and conditions, like the joints, like the lower back, like tendons, neck, soft tissue, skin. Um, and these are all directly from Carolyn. These are directly from That's Carolyn. Right. Yes, I've talked to Carolyn because I've asked her to add some things and change some things around. Um, a detox, kidney, digestion, sinuses. Um, and so, I mean, it's like, there's so much in here in terms of what's available uh, on the Mac Healy that it really takes the Healy to another level. Um, uh, and, and it's just always, always something new, always something exciting. And now I'm adding this uh, holoceuticals on top of everything else. And it just keeps, you know, uh, getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun for me. And I have to honestly, say you know, one, no, you know, it's incredible. And, and one of the questions is, you know, three microcurrents a day, and then essentially is what we recommend. And then, but then up can to you... three, uh, up to three a day, I would say, uh, okay. of just using microcurrent. But you can use the uh, the scalar unlimited. And of course, you can use the right. Mag Healy Unlimited. Unlimited. So, That's right. uh, you know, you have a, 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 so many ways of getting your frequencies in every day. And, and one of the questions is um, also, you know, some opinions have been shared that once you set the wave in process, do you want to wait? Is there a wait time in between programs? You know, like, let's say you use the scalar waves let's say you mm -hmm. use the coil um mm -hmm. and it sets a frequency in the body right. right can you switch then to another frequency and run how would you recommend that well i mean think about it each one of the actual programs that we have in the healy or the mag healy are actually combinations of at least 500 different frequencies and what happens is um because of the german cloud Whenever you use either the, either the Mag Healy or the Healy, it's only going to deliver to you the specific frequencies that your body needs at that moment in time. So you'll never get any harmful frequencies or frequencies that your body doesn't need. I mean, it's always the case, uh, for example, the best case I can tell you is that when I make the, uh, my custom uh, Healy programs with the time waiver, I might create a program that's 60 minutes long based upon the length of time that it can run. But invariably, people will write me and say, I ran your program, it says 60 minutes, but I only, it only worked for you know 40 minutes. Is there a problem? I said, no, not at all. Your body needed only those frequencies for 40 That's minutes and it was all right. filled up. I mean, right. your body can, you know, and then at that point in time, it doesn't receive anymore. So the good news is, is that there's sort of a self-protective mechanism that's built into all the Healy products that don't allow you to necessarily either overstimulate or give yourself the wrong frequencies because it's attuned to your body, unlike all the other devices out there. And what I say is the difference between the Healy and all other frequency devices is that all other frequency devices, I like to call static frequency devices, mm -hmm. because if you know of any of them, like Rife devices or PMF devices, basically you're setting a specific frequency from a book that tells you you know, what to do for, for treating a certain disease or illness or condition. And it's the same frequency you use every single day. And it's the same frequency that everybody uses, but we are all different. We're all unique. The biochemical individuality I talked about at the beginning. And so running that same frequency for everybody or every day to me only gets you so far. But the Healy is what I call a dynamic frequency device in that you never get the same session. And if I were to have 10 people in a room and they all had, let's go back to the headache and we ran the headache program and I walked around and looked at their Healy's and looked at their you know, apps, they'd all be running, even though they're all treating the headache and they're running the headache program, each one of them would have different frequencies showing up for what they needed at that moment in time. And then on the second day, if they had a headache, again, the frequencies would be different. So the beauty of the Healy is that it does uh, have that 
ability to treat people as an individual where no other devices that I am aware of really have that level of, uh, of individuality because there's no such thing as cookbook medicine. You can't treat, you know, it's oh, even my practice. I've always said that to patients. Every patient that comes in is unique. Um, I never have two patients alike. And if I had 10 patients that had diabetes, they'd all walk out of my office with absolutely completely different protocols based upon what was happening specifically to their body. So the Healy works the same way. It treats on that individual level. And so this, this question is from Chantel, just a general question in which cell phones can program the work. I'm not able to work my Healy in my cell. Oh, I guess she's asking for, is there a different, it, it's, it's from an app, from the phone, from the cell phone, from a, from a smartphone. But is Mag Healy the same? Mag Healy is the same. Mag Healy has right. its own app set. Um, right. It's called the Mag Healy app and it's divided into four sections. So you get to choose one of those four sections and then it has the individual programs, kind of a similar layout that the, uh, that the Healy has. Um, and, you know, last but not least, reflection is integral. This is something from Marcus's talk. Reflection is integral to consciousness. Meditation brings us to reflection. For a time, we do not focus on external circumstances so as to delve deeper into the layers of our being. And Healy is helping us to connect to the greater consciousness, if you will. It's allowing for us to bring that consciousness into our body, which is kind of the, the cell charge that he's talking about earlier in terms of our batteries, et cetera. Um, it builds the ATP production in our cells, which is essentially the, the charge. Um, and so, you know, adding the meditation, adding something like holoceuticals um, to your Healy practice and or your Mag Healy practice um, is something that seems, you know, consciousness plus matter equals life. Yeah, charging the water that you drink with the specific- Charging the water that you drink. The Mag Healy. I mean, all of those things, you know, combine, they all work, as I said earlier, synergistically to balance the body on all different levels. And that's why we're unique because the rest of the world deals only with the physical body primarily. Um, uh, and we work with, everything, the, the, you know, mind, body, spirit, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. Um, and that's, you know, it's treating the whole, the, 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 uh, the holistic uh, body, uh, which is the way it was meant to be done. I can see a lot of uh, body workers uh, projecting this onto their screen and, or their, you know, their clients as they're, as they're in there for their ultimate, you know, um, experience using Mac Healy. Um, yeah. And so as he's saying, all three of these devices are synergistic and um, complementary. And Doc, this has just been incredible. Uh, and, and they actually that. work uh, synergistic in that they empower one another. So using, for example, the Mag Healy and the coil at the same time gives you a better effect ultimately than just using them separately. They have a magnifying effect when they're used together. And, and I guess I want to ask just one last thing. I know we're, we're really close to time, but the coaching module and the Bach flowers and, you know, um, the Australian uh, gem elixirs and so forth that we're, you know, the homeopathy, which he was just discussing. We have two different apps. One's the blue dot for a lot of these energetic frequencies. And then we have the pink dot app, not to confuse everyone, but there's just two apps. Can you share just a little bit about, you know, I mean, I've been using coaching module and these energetic frequencies recently um, with, with great results. And oh, coaching module is amazing. I mean, when I first got it, uh, I also have with all my other medical degrees here, I also have a master's in psych in counseling psychology. So, and I add that into, you know, when it's needed in my office, in my practice, because people will come in. It's not just about the body, but it's about anything that affects the body. And so I wanted to try it out uh, with some people when I first got it. And uh, there were some patients of mine that actually came in. And when we were talking, they were saying they were having difficulty with inter, you know, personal relationships uh, and the inability to maintain them. And so I said, would you like to try something out? Because I'm really interested in seeing how this works. And they said, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I remember running it on two particular patients. Uh, about their, uh, uh, in, you know, inability of maintaining a solid, you know, partnerships and relationships. 
and I got the information by running, uh, you know, the program, what the blocks were, and I did some counseling using the information. And both of them said the same thing to me. It was so funny because they said it, you know, different times, but identically. I can't believe this. I've been working with a therapist for a year, and yeah. you, in 30 minutes, got to the core of my issue and was able to walk me through it and see an endpoint where they haven't even gotten to that place. And once you told me what it was, it's like a light bulb went off in my head and I knew exactly where it came from in my life when I was younger, how that's affected me. And now I know how to get out of this. And it was like, you know, I just tried it for a 20, 30 minute session with, with two people. And I walked them through a year's worth of, of counseling therapy uh, by doing that. So yeah, don't ester underestimate the power of the counseling program. And the other favorite program uh, I like is the, um, uh, it's called the, uh, what's the name of it? Strike again, uh, homeopathic. Um, creative homeopathy. Creative homeopathic program. Because that program, it's sort of, you can use it in conjunction with the counseling program. It's fierce, program you guys, be careful. Was, <laughs> yes, be careful. So the first time I used that program. Enter I, only if you I, really want to know. I almost on. fell off my chair yeah. because what it does is it unveils to you your shadow side. That's right. Okay. The side of you that you keep hidden and tucked away from everybody. And it's the side that usually you have established from childhood that runs in the background and nobody knows but you. And when I ran that program and I saw all my secrets, I said, oh my God. How does this thing know all my deepest, darkest secrets? This is crazy. Uh, so yeah, use it at your own risk uh, <laughs> in terms of doing that. But we really, with this small little uh, you know, device, we, we it, this gives us so much, um, it's amazing how Brilliant. it gives us so much power to do so many things, to heal our bodies, bring us into a state of balance, the way we interact with the world. I mean, the devices I use, they're like, you know, they're professional devices and they cost like $20,000, like the Time Waver and the other device I use. But these devices, I mean, it, it's, and right now, the month of July, that 50% off sale is just absolutely, to me, you know, incredible. Uh, and to you be can able use to get it. a professional uh, Healy for like $2,000 uh, or even one, you know, like the Resonance, you know, for 1200 bucks. To me, it's mind boggling. That, that we're able to have a device that does so much for so little. And uh, you can use it anytime, anywhere. Right. You don't yeah. have to drive to go to a practitioner. Nope. You can really begin to understand yourself and be able to really dive in um, yeah. in a way that is just so profound. Yeah. I mean, I know I'm full tilt. I know Doc's full tilt. And, yeah. and what was so amazing about our Orlando experience was just so many vibrant souls i mean we were surrounded by 200 healies yeah on top of the probably 10 or so mag healies right and then everyone else's individual frequency you exactly. know i mean i yeah. i was shifted um yeah, in a really I mean, you know like i said earlier self-care is the new health care and what makes healy so different than uh than any other community that i've been with is that you know everyone in the community is looking to support everybody else there's that energy of service uh, yeah. There's a, a, that energy of how can we help mankind as a whole, and yeah. that's really uh, you know Marcus's vision, yeah. which is to have a Healy in every home uh, to balance ourselves and allow the uh, our planet to be balanced. Um, and so you know his vision is taking hold out there. We've already sold, from what I've heard, is you know over four hundred thousand Healy, which is a lot of Healy's, and this is just the beginning. Uh, you know, in the second year here, so. Um, like I said, I'm so I'm so thankful and grateful to be aligned with a company that has such a an amazing consciousness yeah. that's attached to it, and to have uh, Marcus as our leader, and he's such an incredible human being uh, with such a great vision for humanity, and it just aligns with all of my personal principles. So, um, like I said, it's a joy to be part of this. Yeah, and it's really Marcus's uh, spiritual quest, your spiritual quest that you both aligned with, you know, the mission that is Healy. Um, there's so much out there right now. There's so much noise, if you will. Um, and this is an opportunity, you know, to look deeply into the, from, from top to bottom, um, looking at the integrity of our mission, of our founders, of um, the leaders in our company. Karen says, 
Doc Steve, can you do this more often, please? Loved everything you shared. Um, he will be uh, with Mei Chung next That's right. up. I was just, because of you, Cassie, I was just invited today um, to be with Mei Chung uh, on Thursday morning to do a, uh, um, a, uh, uh, a planetary Zoom uh, dealing with specifically focusing on the differences between the Healy and the Mag Healy. So we're going to go into more depth uh, on that level. And that's going to be this Thursday. And May's put out already a lot of the uh, the links out there. So they're they're floating yep. around. And I'll yep. put and I'll, I'll put the link also in, in the chat. Um, Thank you. Sure, absolutely. Um, yeah, I love to teach. I mean, it's been one of those things. Uh, Hi, Dina Ricker. Glad you can years. make it. Uh, it's, it's because the way I look at it is I can only touch so many people on a daily basis in my practice based on the time that I have. But when I teach in a group like this, or I teach other practitioners, then I expand the reach of what my knowledge can go out to. So I've always loved to teach. And I actually, you know, I'm, I'm the Dean of the International Medical University of Natural Education. And so I get the benefit of traveling all over the world, uh, on a regular basis, teaching doctors uh, you know, getting them involved in the whole idea of the functional medicine, the energetic medicine and working in this realm. And it's just a joy to be able to, uh, especially when somebody comes in that is just a, you know, traditional uh, doc using pharmaceuticals and they hear me speak and it awakens something inside of them that says, you know what, am I really healing my patients or am I only just keeping them in a status quo? Right. Uh, because this right. guy sounds like what he does in his practice on a daily basis is he really heals his patients. Uh, I better check into this. So, you know, I attend every year and this year was very special to me because I brought forward for the first time um, Healy to the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine Conference, which is a once a year conference held in Las Vegas, always in December. And I've been going for the last 25 years since the very first one. And I remember the first one I went to, there may have been a hundred docs there in this entire conference. And now we have usually in attendance somewhere in the vicinity of like 10,000 mm -hmm. doctors from around the world that come to Vegas in December to participate in this. And we were able to, uh, to have a big uh, Healy booth uh, this year and mm -hmm. introduce uh, our work to all of these uh, you know, physicians out there that were looking for the next biggest thing to start to incorporate into their practices and stuff. And it was just so, you know, rewarding for me to turn so many of these docs onto what we're doing um, and see, you know, their level of excitement of, of actually finding out something that they've been looking for. They knew there was something out there. They just didn't know where to find it. And we had it out there for them. And it's, uh, it's been great. And one particular circumstance was a, was a physician who was actually presenting at the conference, who was a, a child psychologist. Mm. And when she came to our, uh, our t uh, booth and table, she said, oh, my God, she said, I hate doing what I do every day. I have to put these little six and seven and eight year old kills on prescription medication for anxiety and depression oh. and attention deficit disorder and all of this stuff. And I hate it. But I have no other way of dealing with it. And I presented the Healy to her and showed her how she could do the exact same thing without having to use medication, but to use Healy instead. And she was sold immediately. And so I'm looking forward to seeing and working with her again. She's in Canada and we just opened Canada mm. at the beginning mm. of the week. So that's the kind of thing I love to do is to turn, you know, uh, traditional docs onto the new, you know, realms of what society wants and where we're really headed to. My, my business partner and colleague, Andrea Page, she works um, as a cancer alchemist and she's been utilizing Healy and, and integrating it into her practice. She's a functional medicine doctor and, you know, she describes it as empowerment medicine. And what's so exciting is that Healy will be here for this next generation of the young ones. Yes. Um, and there's so many mothers, incredible mothers that are in our community that are bringing this to the next generation. And just like you said, you know, it'll be um, really um, empowerment medicine, if you want to call it that, but what a change this will bring. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, like Wonderful. I said, I, I really feel blessed, you know, right place, right time, just came forward in the meditation and look what I created <laughs> out of that meditation. And you yeah, said 10,000, you had 10,000 customers within, I don't know, 
or how many? I, I started to back in 2019. I decided that I really wanted to get the word out uh, uh, after I saw what the power was that it could do. And so I immediately started doing Zooms with friends and family and colleagues and the word got out and I started doing two to three Zooms a week. Uh, and it kept getting uh, exploding. And after I knew it, I looked, uh, you know, uh, I had never been in, in you know, this type of, of marketing before. This, this is the first time in my life that I got into social sharing uh, situation. And, and the next thing I knew within three months, I was a director in healing and I had already had 10,000 people in right. my network, my right. personal network. So. It was amazing to see how it uh, how the people out there really are dying for this information. They really want this, and now they have a place to go to tap into it. And it's easy, you know, and it's inexpensive. It's everything you want it to be. So it's been really great. Thank you, Doc Steve, so oh, much um, for joining us. There's so much that we covered, you guys. I'm going to go right. through, and you know, we talked about the Mag Healy um, new the all the programs that Mag Healy has. We are going to post about his holoceuticals endeavor um, that's just launching today. Um, I'll go through and do my best to answer as many questions as everyone has. Stay tuned for his next um, talk with Mei Chung on the 14th. And um, thanks, Doc, so much. I believe it's 7 a.m. Pacific, uh, uh, 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern, uh, and there are links. And, uh, yep. and again, if anyone is interested in personally working with me, um, I'm always available uh, to do I'm gonna that. Drop, uh, I'm going to uh, drop his um, email in the chat. And, and, um, and you know, I just, this is my, you know, uh, I'll leave it with this at the end here. Yes. Um, I just turned 70, as I said. And so what do you think the most obvious question I get every day when people come in to see me? Well, it's when are you going to retire? Uh, because, you know, there's an assumption out there with age and, you know, when people retire at 65 or whatever, 70 these days. And I say to them, that word is not in my vocabulary. And the reason that word is not in my vocabulary is that I am one of the very blessed people that when I wake up every day in the morning, I get to do my passion. I don't know how many people out there actually do, because I always hear of people that hate their job and hate what they do in life. And yet every single day I get to do my passion. I wake up and healing is my passion. And so when people say to me, uh, when are you going to um, retire? I go, I don't, you know, it, I don't even see that happening. I mean, thankfully, I'll be around really, really long. And uh, at this point in time, that word is not in my uh, vision these days. Uh, because I, I can't imagine doing anything else uh, when I wake up every day. This is, this is what I've done for 45 years, and hopefully I'll continue to do this for another who knows how many years. But running the Healy Anti-Aging programs, I'm hoping it's going to be a long time. Wonderful to and have. I see you just grabbed your little baby there, so I'm my little baby, for yeah. For one second. Yeah, yeah, please. We have a we have a rainstorm um, approaching, and the only thing that gets her upset are ladybugs, um, wasps, and thunder. <laughs> my guy. Oh, how sweet, Teddy. Oh, hi, Teddy. Hi, everyone. Oh, out there. Hey, Sadie. Teddy's my therapy dog, and he oh, works yeah. in the office with me. So Absolutely. Come in. He calms them down. He knows how to do that. And uh, he loves the Healy. Um, and he I, loves you know, the I, Healy. I didn't mention the fact that, um, you know, the animal programs yeah. are, um, are uh, amazing. Um, this somehow got clicked on here, so I apologize. But the animal programs are amazing. And I'll tell you, you know, we just had 4th of July here. Uh, and I live at the beach. So you can only imagine it's the oh, yeah. time of the year for me because he goes nuts. He hates yeah. loud noises. And so I ran the, I ran the Healy, you know, I clipped it to him. I have the Healy animal programs and I ran a lot of the Bach flower programs. I ran a scan oh, on wow. him to oh. see which ones he needed. And the obvious ones showed up that sure. were the Bach flower remedies for fear and things of that nature. And I just clipped it to his, uh, his collar and I ran it. And I'll tell you, he really uh, chilled. So we even have uh, the Healy for our animals and our pets out there, which is uh, phenomenal. Yeah, in fact, uh, Sadie jumped the other day and her little paw went sideways a bit and tore a little tendon in her arm. And so I ran the stem cells. Um, I ran a scan and um, and then, you know, ran the scan in the blue dot. And then I started running things for tissue and bones. And within 24 hours, she was back to 
chipper and running around and it was it was fabulous. Interestingly enough, Teddy had an ACL injury uh, a couple of, uh, a couple of months ago um, and we took him to the vet and they said, well, you know, you may have to do surgery uh, on him. And I said, no, that word doesn't exist in my practice. It's a last resort. I said, but I have some things that I can do uh, with him uh, first to make sure. And so, of course, I put the harness on, the animal harness, and mm -hmm. I started running the microcurrent programs mm -hmm. for tendons. And I'll tell you, um, after a couple of sessions, I could tell that it was healing. And he has brought him back to the vet. They checked him out. I said, what do you think? And the vet said, well, based upon what, he, what I see now, he doesn't need anything to happen. I said, well, guess what? I, I worked on him uh, with a special microcurrent uh process and uh i really believe that's what helped my leg also helped his leg so uh yeah it's it's great for animals it's really great for animals they don't block stuff like humans do right so it's really cool to be able to do that well doc it's been a pleasure thank you so okay. much we're gonna get this okay. link out to everyone and blessings to you and all at your you know your entire endeavors thank and you so much thank you all right very good. Right. Everyone, good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Have a good night. Thanks, Steve. Bye-bye.